subscribe to devil's angel and hit the bell icon to be notified about the latest videos hello friends this is atul and i'd like to welcome you once again to devil's angel your favorite channel on sps stuff so uh, today i have a very interesting update for you uh, we are talking about how you can use uh, uh, the menu emulator for your uh, pc with the proper key mapping and i will be uh, guiding you through how you can uh, key map properly especially for the for robots game so uh, yes uh, this is the part one of uh, this uh, video i get part two we will talk about uh, how you can use uh, the ipad controller the gamepad controller uh, with your uh, windows pc uh, on the memory emulator so be, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon so that uh, you do not miss out on that useful update so uh, without further ado let's just begin So uh, I have already downloaded the Mamu emulator and also the Warbots game in the emulator. I hope you also already done that and uh, open the uh, the home page of uh, the game to start the key mapping. So what you need to do here is uh, go to a button so that uh, you can see uh, which buttons are placed where so that you can uh, uh, drag and drop the key map uh, key mapping options or key mapping buttons on those uh, on screen buttons. So we just uh, begin a game, and uh, uh, this is a basic profile, uh, very basic part because uh, this is uh, uh, a new profile that I had to create just for uh, showing you this demo. My main profile is in my iOS device, which uh, does not support emulation. Okay, so we have dropped in uh, with the Galahad uh, bot, and to key map, uh, what you need to do is open this uh, options drawer draw from the the left side, uh, the, from the right side of. Uh, of the uh, screen and uh, on the second option from the top is uh, the option for key mapping once you do that the screen uh, will uh, a new screen will open open so i'll uh, zoom into it so that you can have a better view and so these are the key mapping options uh, that you have basically what you will require is uh, the steering wheel option so just let's drag and drop it into the uh, the moment uh, thumbstick and resize it accordingly here uh, like so and these are the three weapons so you need to uh, like uh, click here the left click will uh, give you the option of uh, putting a new key here so what i'll do is uh, use the button uh, near to the left right up down button uh, to be able to use these weapons individually so uh, i will be using the uh, the comma button for this and for the next one i will be using the full stop button and for the next weapon i will be using the slash button and for the fire all red button i will be using the shift key which is uh, right above the up down key okay so these are the weapons that we have set up and for the uh, special ability here uh, which is the phalanx mode and for others it may be jump or something like that you need to uh, put a new key for the advanced bots you may need to uh, put it uh, put a new key uh, uh, Put more keys here for the fuel cells or etc like so and for this uh, ability i will be using uh, the um, space button okay so this will uh, bring the shield forward and now we also need uh, uh, an option to uh, look around the screen for that you have you have to go to the advanced option here and you can drag and drop this 3d view option anywhere on uh, the map okay like so and by default, uh, the options uh, on this 3D wheel are left, right, up and down keys uh, on your keyboard. So uh, you should uh, leave it uh, as it is. Uh, that would uh, be okay. So these keys are used for left, right. Uh, only left and right are used up, up and down are not used in all robots. So let's just save this profile and the whole full screen option should now open. And let's uh, see if the keys are working or not. Uh, so left. Uh, if I click, then uh, the window is panning to left and uh, uh, clicking right uh, pans the window to right. Uh, the speed is pretty slow of panning uh, left and right. Uh, so that is one thing that you have to live with because there is no way to increase the speed. W, S, A, D uh, are the options. W, N, S for R for forward and backward. And uh, the A and D are for left and right that we have key mapped. And to uh, bring the shield forward, we can use the space key like so. Uh, to remove it, uh, push the space key again. So uh, to fire the uh, weapons, uh, we had used the uh, 
comma, the full stop, and the slash button. So as you can see, uh, the first rocket, uh, the uh, the machine gun is firing with the stop uh, full stop button, and the rockets, uh, the first rocket uh, uh, is firing from the from. Uh, 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 so, sorry, the machine gun was firing from the comma button, and uh, full stop button. Uh, uh, uses the rockets and the slash button uses the other rockets and if you use uh, the shift key uh, all the weapons will fire at once so uh, let's uh, test this bot a bit in uh, the actual gameplay and let's see if uh, it is actually worth playing or not so uh, let's bring in the shield so that uh, we can save from uh, some of the incoming damage that is coming So as I told you that this is a fairly basic uh, level of uh, gameplay which we are seeing here because uh, this is my alternate profile and not my actual profile. So uh, using the shift key to fire the weapons. I'm already uh, having my legs damaged here. So the problem here is I'm not really used to these controls as of yet. So that will take some time for me to get used to. Nonetheless, I'll uh, show you around. Don't judge my playing abilities by this. Most of my bots are leveled up to MK2 uh, levels in my actual profile, uh, which I'll be showing you showing you in my future videos as well. So to use this special ability, which is to jump, I'm using the space button. So this is my cross sack. And to fire, I'll be using uh, the shift key as I programmed before. So let's see if I'm able to help my team out with this or not. So I don't have much firepower to fight this guy with four weapons. And I'll try to do as much damage. Okay, so the last warrior that I have is the Destrier. And it has the Molot and the uh, machine gun, I forgot its name. So there's barely uh, anyone to fight and uh, the game is almost over. So yeah guys, uh, this was it for uh, the key mapping of uh, War Robots on uh, the Memu Emulator. As you can see, it's pretty smooth and fluid and it can be played. It is playable for sure. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and it uh, did help you out in uh, uh, key mapping your uh, uh, your keypad, your uh, keyboard to your uh, Memu Emulator. And uh, you can definitely play War Robots with this. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up and share with your friends uh, if they want to learn it too. And uh, more videos are coming up as I told you already. Uh, in the second video, I will be showing you how you can use uh, these, uh, this uh, iTaga controller to, uh, to mess around with uh, this, uh, this game uh, on your PC. And uh, let me give you a spoiler that it plays much, much better on this controller compared to uh, your keyboard. So uh, watch out for that and uh, I will see you around soon.